All right, guys, so what we wanted to do was to show you guys how we can get this real A100 over to something in the digital world to play through the gospel rotary that comes with gospel uh, um, organ. So let's start off with this switch right here. Yeah. So that's the Krumar half moon switch. Yep. Okay, can you explain a little bit how you got to the point that you connected that? Yep, so it's basically acting like a sustain pedal. Um, it shows up uh, 64 cc, mm -hmm. and so yeah, you're just coming out of it. Uh, it's like a quarter inch cable. It's going to a MIDI controller. It'll receive that as sustain, and then from there you just uh, you're doing MIDI learn within the uh, program to make sure that the switch is happening. Gotcha. And there's no issues after that. Now, how did you actually mount it? Uh, it's mounted right where my old um, oh, Leslie organ. It's the right organ. size. It's the right size. And you just screwed it in you through just, the wood. Yeah. You just need to, I think you need different screws. Um, Got you. But yeah, other than the screws, it just goes right in. Perfect. Okay. So this is acting as a sustain pedal. So what you did, you ran a, a TSR cable yeah. all the way here to the sustain, sustain in, of and this and then, and then USB. The sustain, and USB so you can get it back out to here. Yeah. All right. So guys, let me explain how we did this again. So basically, the switch comes with a regular TSR cable. The TSR cable goes into, you have to have a sustain into your controller. Once it goes into su the sustain, now you need to go out and detect that through MIDI CC64 and then into the software. As you can see, we're using this Arturia and this has a sustain right here and this is the MIDI out. So this, this is just acting as a middleware yeah. to get to your MIDI CC64 yep. that something else can detect. Yep. Okay, got you. Yeah, all right, so now we got, now we got a way to switch it and to tell us that it's sustained 64. Yep. Got you. Okay, Ron, now let me know. So we talked about over here. Mm -hmm. um, show me where the MIDI cable's coming in. Yep. So the MIDI cable is coming in USB. To, this is my dock. Uh, it gotcha. could, you could go straight into your computer. I'm running off my laptop here, gotcha. which makes it easy. You know, it's very portable. Um, but I have like this USB dock if I need, or smaller dock. But you just, you're literally just coming in USB from your uh, keyboard, Control. okay. your controller, gotcha. um, directly in, and it'll show up as like a, you know, in your program, it'll just show up as the arteria. Yeah. That's your channel, channel one, or whatever channel you want to be on. And that audio, I have that coming in just channel one. It's a mono signal from coming in from the organ. Yep. Got you. Okay. Uh, and then from there, your software is doing the work. Now, can you, oh yeah, so you basically create an audio channel. Yep, I have an audio channel uh, right here, and that's where the organ is coming in. And then I just have the gospel plugin, the uh, gospel rotary as a plugin on that audio channel. Got you. And then the Leslie is a different MIDI channel. Uh, this is how I have to do it in Pro Tools. I open up another MIDI channel. Uh -huh. And I send that out just channel one directly to um, the gospel rotary, and that's it. So it's just tracking the whole time. It's tracking um, the organ, and it's also tracking the MIDI. Gotcha. So you can just hear that there. And the reason why the reason why you can do the MIDI, you have to do the MIDI, is because if you want to go back and change the sound, yeah, it has the same controller values. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. And. Um, and what we had to do there, if you can right click on the um, the the break, yep, we had to learn MIDI CC, and as you can see, it shows MIDI sixty four. But what we have to do in Gospel Rotary, we have to go to the standalone yeah. and make sure it's sure it's global. Yeah. So once we go to the standalone and make sure it's global, then it shows up immediately right there, and that's that little red dot. You see that? Yeah, yeah, that little red, red dot. Red. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Open up the um, standalone so we can yeah. show them. Yeah, I'll do that, man. So that's the standalone, um, and you just basically cl right click, mm -hmm. learn MIDI. You want to apply globally. Yeah. Um, and then you'll just move your switch, click learn, and it'll it'll be there, and it'll be it will remember it. Yeah. Uh, in every program that you open up. 
Gotcha. That's perfect. That yep. is so perfect. So then you're right back to Pro Tools or whatever, Logic, and it's working. Okay. That's good stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next step is how in the world do we get the actual sound out of here into the system? Okay. So I've seen that unit you sent me. I've yeah. seen that before. The unit is right there. Yeah. It's a little black unit. It's basically a direct box. Okay, um, a direct it's, box. It's taking the signal directly from the organ. There's uh, two wires coming out of it. You can, you're clamping one of the wires um, to the braided um, shield for grounding, and then another one to get the signal, which is... Oh, I see the, it right here, yeah, the braided port shield G. for grounding. So he's tapping off of there, and then we're coming out of there... And you said you had to use two DIs, right? Yeah, so it's not it's, it's not a clean signal. Okay. So yeah, that okay. one just gets the audio out, and then I have another DI to just I can flip the ground if it's not clean. Gotcha. Depending on the video, the venue that I'm at, sometimes the ground is on or the ground is off. Gotcha. So, so there's a new company out there called Booker Labs. They make a whole bunch of equipment for uh, organs, adapters, and stuff. And I hold in my hand. This is uh, 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 the Leslie, it he, he comes in one, two, three, four. it comes in five and six pins so that you can come directly out of this with a TSR cable. And it looks to me that this one probably could work right here. Um, I don't know what pin this is. I'm not, I'm not an organ specialist, so don't, don't get mad at me. I don't know about all this stuff, but it, it, it basically comes right out of here and then you come right out of here with the TSR cable, and then you probably have to run it through some DIs as well, but probably not two yeah. since it's direct. So you come out of here. So probably so, one at the most. Exactly. Just to see, you know, if you, if it's not clean. Yeah. So these are the two options here. This is the old school option. That's been that's been going on for years. Yeah. And then this is the new school with Booker Labs. 